you've heard of House Flipper. You know, that game where you buy properties and do them up and sell them for way more than you paid. It's a strange game that I'd kind of put in the category of something like Euro Truck Sim 2. It's calming, therapeutic, and people love it, but no one actually knows why. But screw House Flipper. That's old news. It's time to go back in time when life was simple. If people spoke out of line, they'd be flogged and hanged in front of their kids. None of this stupid cancel culture. So without further ado, let me introduce Castle Flipper. It's been a while since I've reviewed and showcased small indie titles, and boy, did this bring back some good old memories. Castle Flipper is a unique chance to become a medieval royal craftsman. Rearrange the castle at your own discretion. Breathe a whole new life into broken spaces and prepare a great feast for the king. As I mentioned previously, Castle Flipper is taking a lot of inspiration from the massively successful House Flipper, yet funnily enough it's not made by the same developers. As a separate project, the game is being produced by Pyramid Games, the creators of famous games like Occupy Mars, Rover Mechanic Simulator, and Dinosaur Fossil Hunt. I mean, do you need to hunt for fossils? They don't really move that much, do they? But resident! You shout at me across the street. The game isn't even out yet, so what are you doing? Yes, whilst this is true, Castle Flipper has released a free demo, so I thought, why not give it a go? And I can give some feedback and show you guys this game while it's still in development, but keep in mind, this is a demo and not the full game. And unfortunately, in many ways, it shows. The game starts you off much like House Flipper, with your own plot of land. Here you have a rundown shack that as time and progression goes on, you can improve and build into your own home base. But you're also equipped with a notice board. Here, requests and missions will pop up, giving you the opportunity to complete said missions for many, many of the monies. The first is a small Fort camp. A storm blew through, ripping apart the area. Palisades and farmhouses are tattered, and you are requested to tidy things up and start to rebuild. This gives you a basic idea of the bog standard controls, cleaning up and taking wood planks to rebuild fences in the palisade walkways, replacing wooden structures, and an introduction into loot chests that can be found throughout the maps, providing with extra gold for later in the game. The second mission in the demo takes you to a tutorial for building, creating foundations, roof tiles, furniture, and everything you would expect in a medieval town house. I mean, look, it's fine. It is just a demo. However, the movement and building just feel really clunky, and compared to the much more refined House Flipper, there is very little in terms of detailed and smooth animations that actually infects your enjoyment more than you would expect. Currently, the amount of content in the demo is very lackluster, but you can't really fault the devs for that since it's just meant to show players what they can expect in the future. The real seller, and the real reason that I wanted to make this video in the first place, is what is being shown for the future. After all, the game isn't called Medieval House Flipper. So as you can expect, there's much more than just repairing a few palisades after a storm. Whole villages after war-torn battles will be in dire need of repair, and it is your job to get in there and sort the aftermath. Later in the game, the aim is to, of course, buy and do up massive structures, castles, keeps, and barracks. And boy, the scale we're looking at here is something else. The incredible architecture, the great halls, the medieval world that you are tasked to revitalize and build up to your heart's content. Now, games like this don't come along very often. Most of the time, we focus on the action-packed games like Mountain Blade or the gore-filled Mordhau or even city builders like Manor Lords or Ostriv that really make you think and use strategy in order to succeed. But games like Castle Flipper aren't any of these. Of course, they will rarely appeal to everyone, but there is a framework for this different type of gaming experience. Some may say these games are just a trick to make the player feel more productive than they actually are, and I'm sure there's a lot of truth to that. However, sometimes you just need to be able to sit back, relax, and create. There has always been a place for the stressful, intricate, and fast-paced gaming experience, yet it seems Castle Flipper is going to fill in that spot that most developers rarely have the balls to do. Mostly because there's this strange idea that they think players will just get bored. But I think there will always be a place for this sort of game. And especially in this medieval genre. It has been a while, and I have really missed looking into new and upcoming indie games, so let me know if there are any more that are worth looking over, as I think we're on the road for a great year in gaming for 2021. Yeah, thank you so much for watching. Make sure you leave a cheeky subscribe if that's your sort of thing, but if not, cheers anyway for stopping by. But until then, I'll see you in the next one.